Okay, for our midterm plate in ARCAD 312, we'll be creating two elevations and one section for our floor plan. But those are just the minimum if you want to create the four elevations well and good. If you want to create two sections, okay, din po. Okay, now for this continuation, we'll be tackling the dimension. Kasi as you have seen from the last uh, video module, I already had everything except for the dimension objects. Okay, now let us see. I just have to adjust my LPS. Okay, now, uh, we'll be creating dimension. Okay, so magdadagdag po tayo ng mga ilan-ilan layer. Uh, please add a layer for dimension wherein color is 60, line type is continuous, and line width is 0 0.05. Okay, and we'll be having another one. Uh, ha, I believe the title block is missing. Hold on switch on the other my one of my files you have to add title block yeah 254 continue 0 0.80 so let us set that okay so that's la enter create a new layer i'm going to name that title block okay and then color will be 254 that's under index color tab so you just have to write here 254 then we click ok technically medyo makapal si title block so we click here and we look for 0 0.80 okay there you go so we click okay with that and we set current muna yung layer 0 so double click natin yan okay let's go with my other file I have here uh, two existing or two rectangle objects okay ayan sila they both have dimensions this is the default dimension of CAD default, ibig sabihin without you setting uh, specific preferences, ito yung nakaset na, and this is the style, according to user preference that I have set on my own okay, so ang difference nila is una, the arrows are not the same, ito yung default arrow, you can actually change them tapos, uh, yung text po niya, masyado siya maraming uh, precision, it has 5 figures wherein pwede naman siyang bawasan kahit tatlo lang decimal separator is period dimension lines, look at this one uh, this one has extension lines or extend beyond dimension lines, ito, nakikita niya ito wala siya, preferably mas magandang wala, una pandagdag, nakakabigat ng file if you're going to print uh, on your own, medyo nakaka-consume siya na mas maraming ink and at the same time, they look messy and ito offset beyond dimension line so meron siyang space say for example burahin ko to I just have to type DLI I have to pick 1 and 2 and click here so napansin nyo even, even if I have snap on the end point meron po siyang offset which is yung tinatawag na offset from origin meron siyang space na 0 0.0625 which I would suggest better to turn it off kasi bakit uh, say for example, nag-command ako ng DLI, Kinik gusto kong i-click ito pero accidentally na-click ko yung sa taas. So, nag-iiba na po yung dimension niya. So, better yet, okay lang din naman po na meron siyang space or offset. But, I would typically set it to zero like this. So, ibig sabihin nakatamang nakatama siya doon sa object. Okay? So, this is from my other file. So, let's go with our file. And, naka layer 0 tayo. Huwag muna yung dimension. Kasi, yung color nito, malalak doon yung dimension object natin. Hindi na natin siya mapapalitan. Okay? So, the command is D. Okay, yan. Mer marami na po akong existing. But, technically, yung sa inyo, nag start yan sa standard. Okay? So, this is the uh, appearance of standard. Everything that you see here. So, let's try. D, L, I. 1 and 2 yan, ganyan po siya so you don't want to present something like this so burahin natin and let us set our own style parang yun sa text style lang po yan tsaka ml style anyway the command is D okay uh, pakidisregard to nakikita nyo so the first step is to click new okay so type natin lagyan natin siya ng style name arcad dim style our dimension style okay so we're good with that name 
and uh, start with meron kayo makikita dyan you can actually click with standard if you want and you click continue okay. so mauna tayo sa lines tab lines tab or mga line objects or dimension lines ito po yun ah, sorry yan eto those are dimension lines okay yan, yun nakikita nyo uh, we will be setting the color, the line type, and the line weight according to the layer na sinet natin para sa kanya. Okay? So, again, lines will be according to their layers. Okay? And then, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, uh, extend beyond dimension lines. Ito yung sumobra. Sabi ko nga, it looks messy, so we better set it to zero. And then, offset from origin. Ito, yung space uh, before the object. So, I better put it to zero. Okay, so, yun lang naman po yung papalitan. Yung tatlo dito, tsaka yung dalawa dito. And we click symbols and arrows. Uh, this is a uh, closed field. Ito yung nakikita nyo ninyo. But, we click from here. And we change it to marami dyan. Merong architectural tick. Okay. Merong box field. Meron din namang yung dot lang. Okay? So, sige. Uh, ha, let's see. Maybe we look for uh, no, origin indicator, something like that. Uh, sige, yung dot na lang. Okay? Arrow size, 0 0.18 is too big. Probably at 0 0.13. Okay? Masyado naman na kayong 18. Baka sasapawan na niya yung mga dimension text. So, which is not good. So, yun lang naman papalitan dito. And by the way, pag in-edit mo yung first arrow, sumusunod po si second. Okay? So, it's just the um, arrow head styles and the arrow size. And we go with text. Text style. Uh, meron kayong dito makikita. Standard. When you click this also, may lilitaw na iba. So, yun sa akin, meron ako mga dinrag na mga ilan-ilan objects. Kaya lumilitaw to. But, we will follow our text 01. Okay, so yun, arc text 01, text color, we look for by layer, okay, ibig sabihin kung anong color ng layer na set natin, or actually pwede din naman siya ng red, okay, so that is also possible. Fill color, I don't like seeing like this, they, they're, they're so messy, but I just wanted to see what happens, so let's put it to none. Text height, kung ano po yung ginamit natin sa floor plan, iparehas po natin, 0 0.25. Hindi naman maganda masyadong maliit kasi hindi mababasa, hindi rin naman masyadong maganda na masyadong malaki kasi magiging dominant sila kaysa dun sa ah, kailangan na i-emphasize ng drawing na yan. Okay? We're good with that. Draw frame around text. Let's see what happens when we check this. So, ayun siya. Ah, uh, no, I don't like it. But it's up to you. But I, 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 will, I haven't been using it since, okay? Text placement, okay? So, nandito tayo. Vertical, you just said, uh, check for above, okay? So, kung andito siya, eto, dito yun, okay? And then, for the horizontal, okay na po yung centered. And then, direction is left to right. Yun lang naman, okay? And then, meron pala siyang tinatawag na offset from dimension lines. Okay, you see this text here, tapos ito yung dimension line. Meron siyang space na konti. Okay, okay lang din naman yon. Okay lang din naman siyang ilagay na zero. Yun nga lang para masyado siyang dikit na dikit. So, maybe 0 0.03. That will be quite fine. Okay, huwag naman masyadong malayo. Okay, hindi naman maganda. So, parang humihiwalay siya. And then, text alignment. It's always better to align with dimension style. So, just like what you see on our preview, yan, I do hope nakikita yung changes, whatever modification that we do here. Okay? We're good with text stop. Let's go with fit. Sa lang naman po yung minamark dyan. Uh, always keep text between extension lines or eto po, yung mga dalawang line na yun. Nakagit na siya lagi. Use overall scale of. One lang yan. Huwag nyo nang gagalawin. Ibig sabihin, if yung measure ni dimension is nasa 1.5, well and good. Okay, although there are some cases where in overall scale is, you need to resize it but by 0 0.5 or probably at 2. Meron mga ganun situation but most of the times, 1 lang po ito. So, wag nang gagalawin, okay? Primary units, 
decimal format yan okay precision there's too many figures so tatlo po will do okay kasi meron mga dimensions na ah masyado silang uh, hindi sila whole numbers so at least three precisions or three figures uh, will justify the detailing of your measurement okay decimal separator merong iba dyan comma space so we just look for period okay and then round off so just have this one zero ah uh, kasi this is technical drafting eh. this is architectural drafting hindi magandang nagra-round off mas maganda kung anong actual size na nakuha mo unless the drawing requires you to do so uh, prefix or yung sign or letter before the numbers or dimension and suffix probably you can put letter M kasi that's your measurement that's your unit of measurement which is meter and scale factor is one we're good yun lang naman yun lang naman lima na to okay so I do hope you were able to follow dito wala nang ganang uh, ginagalaw so we're good we just have to click ok just have to click arcade dim style we have to set it current para every time na magkakreate po tayo ng dimension 9 uh, siya po yung pinafollow ng style okay? then we click close okay? then we're good we click from here hanapin si dimension you select it on its name to set it current Okay. This is easy PC. DLI, enter, one. Uh, you click or you snap on the grid. <coughs> click and you drag it a little upward. And you can always select this one and move it anytime. As long as hindi nyo siya in explode. Okay, pag in explode nyo siya, hindi na siya dynamic. Okay. And uh, DLI again, one and two and snap here DLI you can snap dun sa grid grid, snap dun sa circle ok and DLI 1 2 and there you go ok or dito kasi pwedeng hindi nyo naman eto i-dimension kasi pwede nyo emphasize yung dimension doon dun sa bandang baba ayan ok so, balikan natin. Nakunin natin yung kabuan. DLI. 1, 2, and snap dito. Okay? And another one. DLI. We snap. 1, and 2, and click. And DCO to continue. DCO enter. That is to continue. And then we snap dito. Grid dito, yan. That's why that's the purpose of uh, greeting. Okay? So, we're good. We press enter and enter and we DLI ulit. We snap 1, 2, and snap somewhere here. DCO to continue from the last dimension object. You snap somewhere here. Click. And you snap on the last part. Click. Enter. Enter. And another DLI. Pwede dito naman kayo mag-snap, pababa, click, and click. Okay? Let's continue. DLI 1 and 2. Click somewhere here. So, to continue that, that's DCO. Enter. And we click 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Enter. Enter. DLI. Enter. 1 and 2. And click sa baba. Okay, DLI ulit. So, I snap here. 1 and 2. And drag it somewhere here. Okay. And then, DCO to continue. Yan, dudugtong po siya doon sa last created na dimension. But just in case, na-enter nyo siya. Okay. So, what you can do is, ayan, it's a pick box. So, ibig sabihin, you can select other objects. So, you, you may click here. Yan, and there you go. You continue that. Okay. So, again, uh, we type DCO, we press enter, we click this, and until such time na matapos po kayo. Okay? That's it. We're good. 
Now, pagdating naman po dito sa ano, of course, you have to quick save. Pagdating dito sa elevation, you have to set first walls. So, parang ititrace mo lang siya dun sa pinakababa. Ayan. You just trace everything. Pati yung bintana. So, how do you do them? Okay? And then, from there, you will snap everything. Or you just have to copy. And then, from the height, tagyan natin to, DLI. 1, 2, 3, DCO. Okay. And click, and click. Enter. DLI, you snap 1, and 2. And click. I have to change my LTS at point uh, 3. Okay. So, yung mga windows na to, naka-ready naka na po sila. Tapos, this, the railings and the door, yan. Nirecycle ko lang po sila from my old drawings. Even the windows. Tapos, eto po pala, we click it. Okay. Uh, that is user-defined. That is 0 0.20 in spacing or that's equivalent to 8 inches. Angle po niya is 90. Kasi rib type po siya. Okay? Then, I also have the line of elevation. Yan, FGL, finishing core line. Finishing grade line is different from NGL. NGL is the natural grade line. Na wala ka pang ginawang modification sa site. FGL is pag tinambakan mo na siya. Okay? Finishing grade line, finishing floor line. The ceiling line, the top of beam, the apex, the firewall. So, lahat po niyan, meron silang mga corresponding na height. They should be here. Let's fix that. Yan. Okay. Then, DLI. There you go. Okay. Now, ito. Uh, what I do is, I just produce this arrow and this line, and then I copy it on every material there. Then, gumawa ako ng line, gumawa ako ng rectangle, and then I had a text. Let's see the properties of the text. PR, you select this one. Uh, style po niya is arc text 01. Uh, height po niya is 0 0.22, or you can actually opt for 0 0.25, pwede din naman po. Okay, so yun sa akin, in-adjust ko lang, walang problema. Mas maganda kung, kung anong ginamit mong height dito sa floor plan, dito sa dimension, tsaka dito sa specs, pati eto, mas maganda kung uniform sila. Okay? So, let's go back. And then, rotation is 0, width factor is 1, obliging is 0. Justification is left. Bakit left? Yan, no? That's why, pag nag-type ako, 5 inches, CHB firewall. Okay? So, nakita nyo naman, nag-justify siya sa left. But if I'll be selecting this one and move it to middle center, which is not actually advisable for this. Yan. Kunwari, nakikita mo siyang ganyan. Yan. Tapos, nag-type ka. Okay, na sobrahan. Lalagpas siya. Okay, kasi that is not left justification. That is middle center. So, I would really suggest a mid uh, left justification kasi dito ka nag-justify. That's why every text should have different justification according to their purpose. And look at my specification lines. Hindi sila nag intersect Baka maduling yung nagbabasa na foreman or mason. So better yet, you align them accordingly. And you uh, just like also this one. Okay? And this is my section. So what to do? You just have to copy this one. Okay? So burahin lang po yung dapat burahin usually. Kukunin mo lang naman dito is the outline. Tapos, eto, you just copy it on the other. Say, for example, uh, yan, wala ako. Say, for existing, yan, wala yan. So, pwedeng isa lang yung gawin, gawan mo. Then, you just copy. So, that's the practice I've been using ever since. So, yan. Isa lang naman yan, ba? And, yan. Bilis. Okay? So, eto, you can just probably adjust them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Masyadong madikit. Okay. 
okay, there you go. I just have to fix it afterwards. Tapos, kung gusto mo siyang i-drag para wala siyang space, pwede din po. Okay? And of course, do not forget your firewall. Unless, kung hindi kayo nag-firewall kasi there are students who did not use that. So, we may vary. Uh, for the section, do not forget uh, the actual appearance of your rooms, yung mga fixtures na nakalagay, uh, pati mga appliances, kitchen cabinets, or depende po dun sa part na selection ninyo. For the shading, let's select it. This one is hatch under user defined. That's 0 0.05 on its spacing and 1.35 on its angle. Okay? Now, gawa na siya. Okay na lahat. Uh, I don't know if you, you, you are doing the same thing, but this is what this is what I do. Yan. And then, para po pala dun sa tambak, uniform po tayo na 0.60. Okay? And make sure na magre-reflect po yan dun sa floor plan niyo. Say, this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and another 0.2, so that's a total of 0.6. Okay? So, you just snap everything. You just properly align them. Okay, say for example, 0. Point, uh, I'll, I'll be offsetting this at 0. 0.6. Okay? And then from there, so ito po yung pinto ko. So, uh, say for example, may existing akong template. Then I just copy this one and snap here. So that's my door. Okay? And for example, offset at 2.1. So meron ako nag-intersect to and saka dito. So, I can just say, for example, meron ako existing ganito na owning window. So, I can just snap here kung saan sila nag-intersect. Then, I I'll just be copying it. Okay? And I can still copy this one. Okay? One, two, three. There you go. So, ganyan lang naman po. Okay? So, now, uh, we're good with all the things. Okay? But actually, what I did with this, dun sa isa kong file, hinati ko siya. Yan. Originally, ito talaga siya dapat. Kaya lang nung isiset ko na siya sa paper, hindi siya kasha. So, what I did is this one. Okay? So, alam nyo ng paraanan to. Now, the next thing is we will be setting it into A3. Yan. So, dito na lang tayo. Sige. Uh, punta ako sa file na to. Ito po yung yari niya. Okay? So, what is the size of an A3? Pag napunta ba ako dito? A3 size in meters. Okay? So, ito siya. Uh, it's 0 0.297 by uh, 0 0.42. Okay? Okay? Let's continue. Uh, now, we sorry. will be setting it into tight girl. No, sorry. V port muna. So, that's REC. I'll be snapping here and type at. So, ito po siya yung kanina. At 0 0.42297. At 0 0.42, comma 0 0.297. And then, okay? Then, we offset it at 1 half inch. Ayan, 0 0.025. Then, we click and we click. We select this one, lagay natin siya sa title block. Okay? And then, lagyan natin ng box. So, this one is, height niya is, mula dun sa kalahat. Alam ko, this is ano. I'll just snap a line here. 0 0.04. Lagay natin siya sa title block. Okay? Then, L. Snap here. Sorry, that is, that should be title block. Okay, then we offset at 0 0.01. Okay. There you go. And this one, let's check the size. Okay. So that's 0 0.04. So REC. Let's switch on the proper layer. Sorry for that. REC, we snap here. Then at 0 0.04, comma 0 0.04, enter. So that's TR, enter, enter. Yan. So, this will be the place of your logo. Yan. As you can see. 
Tapos, yan. The first line, student's name, you're in section and subject, sheet contents, instructor po. So, let us check the contents or the properties of each text or that text. Actually, kinapi-copy ko na lang siya. Justification is left. Height is 0 0.045. Uh, style name, ARCAD text 02. Okay? Or ARC text 02. Okay, so it's up to you kung anong gusto ninyo. Uh, that's your discretion or user preference. Basta the important uh, details are there. Okay, so again, yan. Yun po yung height niya. Tsaka justification is left. Para pag nag-type kayo, nanggagaling siya sa left. Hindi siya sa gitna. Okay, so I hope we're good with that. Now, uh, let's do uh, MV. MV, enter, we click 1 and 2. Okay, adjust natin ng konti. Okay. We double click inside, we look for the floor plan. Okay, then say enter 1 over 100 XP. Yeah, adjust nyo na lang po sa bandang gitna. Okay, and double click. And then we need 3. Okay, aha. So MV. 1 and 2 adjust adjust na lang natin ha select and click pataas yan double click inside hanapin si front elevation so this one is Z or sige escape ko muna double click ako sa labas type MA or match property ang property nito is na 1 is to 100 siya so i'll be clicking this one any inherit ko dito or imo match ko siya so yun ah naging 1 is to 100 din so, we double-click, higit na lang natin, adjust tayo ng konti dito para uh, maglagay tayo ng caption. Okay? So, ayan po yung mga captions nila. Select this, uh, Arcad Text 01, or I don't know if that was Arcad Text 0, so ba yung natin? O, pili na lang kayo kung anong prefer ninyo, but the height is 0 0.080. Okay? Tapos, escape, yung sa baba, this one is 0 0.032. Ito, itong dalawa, okay na middle center. Yan, kasi pang centro talaga pag nagli-label tayo, di ba? So, you do that dito. Just like what I did here. Yan. Then, you copy the uh, viewport. You click dito. You double click inside. Hanapin nyo naman yung uh, right elevation. Yan. Okay? Double click. You can adjust it para magkasya po silang tatlo. Okay? do the necessary adjustments okay, kasi yun nga, pwedeng hindi sila magkasya, pero dapat pagkasya yan so, you don't have to use for another sheet, sayang yung printing cost okay, yan there you go, and we copy the last one adjust, adjust na lang po okay, we double click inside, hanapin yung section, okay so, there you go Everything should be in 1 is to 100. Make sure you have the right details here. Again, this one is for logo. So, uh, may PDF po yan. Yeah, upload ko po sa Google Classroom. And then, ayan po yung mga captions nila. But if you want to use another sheet para magkakasama-sama po lahat doon ng elevation and sections, pwede din po. But again, these are, this, is, this will be the minimum requirements. Okay? I'll be closing this one and let's convert it into PDF. So, that's Control P. Just click this one if it appears. Okay. Page setup, uh, ty uh, printer po, just leave it none. Printer platter, just have it DWG to PDF. This is monochrome. Make sure plot object line width is checked. Naka landscape po tayo. And then paper size, we have to look for A3. And then kung wala pong A3 dyan, we have to select under properties. Okay. Uh, custom paper sizes okay so let us be looking for add okay kasi technically sa inyo wala pa or kung meron man baka hindi siya mag fit so it's abi ko nga it's better for you to know how to set your paper according to your needs kasi hindi lahat naman ng drawings uh, nagre-require siya ng commercial size na paper although A3 is commercial but there might be time in the future where in you need to customize your own paper. So, this is the process. This is actually the third time because the first one is letter, the second one is legal. So, this is A3. So, start from scratch. Next, uh, paper size. So, 
Ayan po, naka millimeters na siya just like the one we have used earlier. Adjust na lang po kayo dito. Okay, kasi ito meters. So you just have to make adjustment, okay? So ayun, 420 to 97 millimeters. I-type niyo na lang po 'yon, okay? And then next, uh we have to set everything printable. Sayang naman. Just leave this zero, okay? And next, uh, lagyan natin siya arcad A3 paper size. Okay? Then we click next. Very good. We click finish. We click okay. Hanapin natin siya dito, paper size. Arcad A3 paper size. It's either nandun siya sa pinakababa or andun siya sa pinaka taas, okay? So ayun. And then we click window. Kung wala dito si window, you click on this arrow here and you look for window. And there you go. And then we pick one and two. Apply to layout and preview. Okay? So there you go. We're good. You just have to check your LTS po. Okay? Escape ko lang pala. Uh, check nyo muna yung LTS. Baka hindi nagre-reflect yung mga broken lines. So that is LTS. Okay? Sorry. LTS, bakit checking sa inyo baka naka 0.7 siya or 0.5, technically pag nasa layout ka na magkoconvert na ng PDF hindi sila magre-reflect kung masyado mataas, so this is my value we may differ here baka mas uh, suited sa inyo yung 0.001 something like that, or baka 0.03, okay na siya, but again before you uh, you continue uh, saving it into PDF you have to check again the LTS okay so, there you go. Dapat reflected po yung mga hidden lines. Because every line has to be emphasized properly. So, anyway. Again, this will be the setup. The WG to PDF. Monochrome. Nakacheck yung plot object line weights. Nakacheck yung landscape. Nakacheck yung fit to paper. Center the plot. Pag winindaw ninyo, dito siya. And preview. Okay. So, yung object natin, hindi yung printable in actual. Okay? Ito lang po. Yan. Yung nandito. Yung pinaka margin or title block. Then, once we're good, you right click, you click plot. So, you know where to save. So, ito po yung file name niya. Exercise 6. Floor plan. Uh, midterm, in, midterm underscore arcad 312. And we click save. So, there you go. We are good for printing. So, this will be submitted on October 27. Okay? So, after this, I will be discussing naman on how to convert your architectural drawings into structural. Okay? Thank you so much.